Yeah, with uh, former seven-time champion John Frank, and we had a good chat this morning. Um, you were just saying that you thought the biggest issue racing needs to get to grips with at the moment is the whip. Just, uh, just briefly, what what would you like to see happen? And I guess you'll want to see it happening soon, don't you, John? Well, I've already said it. I think that um, jockeys need to be stopped from using the whip. Definitely carry it in case one goes to run out, or they just need encouraging going into a fence. But ninety-nine point nine percent of horses try their hardest. If I was a jockey and I thought that I wasn't working as hard as the horse, then I'd be disappointed. And I'd be saying to jockeys, how would you like it if actually, during the last couple of furlongs, I started hitting you when you actually think you're doing your best? Would you resent it? Probably yes. Would you ride better for it? No. Are you better balanced without being hit? Certainly, um, you're worse balanced. So I think there's so many things and so many positives to um, come out of um, at least trialing it just for a month let's have a, a month of racing where jockeys carry a whip but don't use it and let's do away with this stupid situation where you can win a race by breaking the rules um, and keeping the prize money it's just not right do you think it would promote better jockey ship almost? What, what do you think would happen if jockeys put the, put the stick down? Well, there's lots of good things about it. We'd start breeding horses that um, were willing to race. Um, jockeys would have to um, think more about conserving energy. They'd have to ride better races. And all the really good jockeys, the cream, would come to the top because the ones, the strong lads, the ones that um, are good judges of pace, they'll ride more winners. The lads sitting in the weighing room that are thinking, I wonder if they're going to ban the, the whip. The good ones will be saying, yes, I hope they do, because I'll ride more winners. And the message to the, to the leaders of the sport is sooner rather than later, John? Uh, this, af this afternoon will be just about in time. Don't leave it until the weekend.